Hey, how's it going? My day has been pretty frustrating. I've got a VTX problem, a camera problem, and I cracked a 3D printed part. So, hasn't been the most fun for FPV. But, what it did is it gave me a chance to try something I've been thinking of doing for a while, and that is a real world thrust test. How you might say? Well, what I thought, if I take my quad, which are these, these have got the BR2205, not the S, these are 2600kV motors with some ZTW 25 amp props and get a big four cell battery that I've made and see how much it can lift. Obviously I've been looking at the thrust charts and I wanted to know how much can it really do. So this is how it went. Alright, so these are the racist uh, BR2205s that I was talking about. So we go down here, what we're looking at here is the motor, motor performance data. So for the 2600s here on a 4S with a oh, 4 inch prop actually, you should get 710 grams of thrust out of a load of 23.2 amps. So with a 5 inch prop you should get probably a little bit more than that. So that's going to be interesting. Let's go and do the test and see how much we actually can get. Stable hover. Hover. It. There we go. Right. Whoa. Well, two and a half kilos. I couldn't lift that. It's hard enough in stabilized mode on this copter. So let me get that. Come on, get there. Show you that balance. Alright. Above. above it. Try to stop it swirling. Alright. Here we go. We had lift off. Right, oh, so back in the shed. Let's see how much weight we got on there. Just to prove it, I'll take that over there. So we got battery, 875 plus the hippo. I know I'll do it this way. So the old racer stars. At least 2.6 kilos. So 650 grams. I was hoping to get a little bit more and perhaps if I'd keep pushing a little bit further you might have got another 20, 30, 40 grams. So sitting around the uh, what's that? Sitting around the 700 grams of thrust probably with these Dell 5045 dual blade props or yeah not triprops, more props. So there's a test that's done in the real world and on this frame with this ESC combo and these motors a little bit lower than what I thought but around about that 700 gram mark so all in all not too bad. Cheers! Alright I hope you enjoyed that video. 
I really enjoy making the content for this channel and if you want to support it the best way you can do that is heading over to killerdrones.com and picking up one of the raffles that are currently happening at the moment. I don't make any money off the raffles, all it is is a system that enables me to keep on purchasing new things, to keep trying out a whole bunch of new stuff to keep the information coming to you. Plus you also can win some really cool stuff. Thanks again for your support and see you next time.